This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their animation and games unit from the CS Discoveries course. I'm on lesson 15, which is on velocity, part 13. We already have some code here. It looks familiar. Let's hit run. Yep. Ooh, jump. Oh, he's too slow. So if yours doesn't have this code, if yours doesn't have a program like this, you need to go back to 11 do 11 and then do 12. If you were confused or stuck on them, please watch my other tutorials. But if you don't have this stuff, you're not going to be able to do this level. So go back to 11. I'm going to hit reset. Let's see what we're doing. Looping. The game will be more fun if the frog can jump more than once. You can make the mushroom loop by checking whether it's moved past the left edge of the screen. Oh, that's cool. And moving it back to the right edge. So I bet we're going to use an if conditional type statement to check if it's moved past. Do this. Find the if statement that checks whether the mushroom has moved past the left, the left edge. Okay. Is it going to be mushroom? If mushroom x is negative 30. So that would definitely be, you see how x is 0 ray over here? So if it's negative 30, that would be past the left edge. Okay, so we found that. Use sprite x block to set the, mush the mushroom's position back to the right edge. Use the... Okay, so should we set it to the spawn position? Where does it spawn? Our mushroom's at 350, 335. Let's try. So we're going to go to sprites inside of our if statement, right? Because we are we want the computer first to check, hey, is the mushroom's x coordinate less than negative 30? So is it over here? We then want to spawn it to position back to the right edge. If it has. Got it. All right. So we want to grab the x, drop it in here, move to the right edge. So we could use this x coordinate they start at at 350. I think that would look weird, but let's start there. I need to change sprite back to, to mushroom because we have a mushroom x variable and then an x property for it. And I'm going to try 350. I think this might look strange, but let's test. Ah, I need to change my jump speed. Um, let's change this to 3. And then if frog is... Where do I check? If it's at zero, no. Let's say, oh, did that look strange? I wasn't even, ah, I hit it. And we could already, I already know that we know enough to do detection. Okay, so I'm going to change this from 350 to 400, right? So I'm going to have the mushroom spawn at the edge. I changed this to three, but I don't want the frog to go way, way up there. I'm going to say like, Y150 instead of Y0. So, negative, if up is pressed, let's change the speed to negative 3. Frog velocity. And then if frog's y instead of 0 is less than 150, let's have it move back down by 3. All right, let me test this now. Boom, back down. And then it should spawn the mushroom at zero. Yep, which is a bit off this screen. Oh, that's so cool. Ah, I hit the mushroom. And we already know enough code to do things like detect when the mushroom is there. And uh, we could add points to this, I believe. That's super cool. Okay, is that? Hey, it looks like we fulfilled what we needed on this. Awesome. I can really see how we're going to be able to create our own game. Great. Let's keep going. Actually, just to double check your code, here is what I had. Here's what I changed up. Um, let me I'm gonna move this stuff up just so you can kind of see it better. Get rid of these faces. That is what worked for me. And I'm going to keep going. Great. 